Hello everyone and welcome back to Fantasy Star 2 and oh boy do we have things to talk about. So, last time we made it here to this town. Uh, this town has very expensive equipment. I have to grind for some money and part of me wanted to do that off screen between episodes, right? But there has been something that has come to my attention that changes everything about this playthrough that I kind of feel a little bit dumb for forgetting about it to be honest. But you know, it's not super straightforward to think to do this all the time, even though I totally could have done that. Done this, uh, you know, as I passed back through Paseo multiple times. But let's head back to Paseo. Puseo. You're going to find out why real fast. Uh, those of you who... Uh, basically what happened is, first of all, so I was going to look up a guide, right? So I did that, and immediately when I was looking back at the dungeons I already did, I was looking at, like treasure list to see what I might have missed. I didn't miss a whole lot. In fact, I, I would say I missed no treasures worth picking up, if any at all. I don't even think I missed any treasures in the three dungeons I've done. Um, but regardless, when I did that, I noticed something weird about, I think it was the second or third dungeon when I was looking at the guide of it. There was more party members being referred to. Like, what? There's more party members? How do I get them? How did I miss them? Well, I forgot one of the minor... NPCs in the beginning of the game happen to mention one very important thing. Sometimes you should go back home. There might be somebody there waiting for you. Guess what I haven't done since I started this game? I haven't gone back to my house. Apparently, that's the key to more party members. That's why all this equipment is appearing that I can't use. Duh. People I can have equipped in my party already. There's a knock at the door. Here we go, guys. Oh, and I will also mention, after I looked at the guide, um, I did start posting this on YouTube, and people started telling me this in the comments, and I'm like, Jesus, I need to do this before I get this on every video. <laughs> so, yeah, we're starting this video off by finally going back home to get more party members. Holy moly. Sorry about this. For Sorry for those of you who watch. But if anything, you should be more impressed that I went through as much as I did with only two party members. Just marvel in my brilliance. Or... Persistence is probably the better word because it's not brilliant at all. Anyway, knock at the door. I'm sorry to intrude, but I have heard that Funk and Nay are trying to solve the mystery of the bio monsters. I am a professional bio monster hunter. I have little talent, except that I am good with a gun. I also want to go with you. My name is Rudo, which is short, which is short for Rudolf Steiner. Maybe you think you know a better name for me? Nah, Rudo works. I can live with Rudo slash Rudolf Steiner. Your name fits you well. I'm glad to have you in our group. Let's check the roster at the point where Rudo came in. Sure. See strength? Okay. Wow. There's going to be more than four party members based on this menu. I don't know why it didn't hit me that... Yeah. Anyway, we're going to keep Rudo for now, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to put Rudo in the party. We've added Rudo. This is much more reassuring. Let's get going. So four party members, but there's a pool of more than that. I'm actually quite curious to see how many party members I actually have uh, available waiting on me. But anyway, we got Rudo, bitchin'. Now we have a fourth per or a third person following us around. We're going to have a fourth one probably right away, too. Knock at the door. How do you do? I'm Dr. Amy Sage. I heard that you are seeking to solve the mystery of the bio monsters. I will be glad to assist you, though I am not much of a fighter. But I can heal wounds. Give me a name if you wish as a sign of closeness. Now, nah, Amy works better to just leave their default names except for funk obviously <clears throat> anyway your name is you well glad to have you in our group okay i'm gonna probably put amy in having a, a dedicated healer is a great idea rudo yeah i want anyone else i'll bring amy too hell yeah bitching dude we got a party of four now hell yeah the real question is though are there more than just amy and rudo waiting for us I'm also scared to look at what their level's gonna be, but we're gonna find out that in a minute. There's a knock at the door. I'm Hugh Thompson. How do you do? A biologist. I came when I heard about your quest. I value all life, including bio monsters. I am willing to fight to defend the weaker life forms, though. Perhaps my knowledge will be of help to you. I will feel like you. we are good friends if you give me a nickname. Nah, you're good, Hugh. You can be Hugh. Hugh's cool. I'm just going to keep going in and out of here until we know for sure that we've gotten everyone that's very possible right now. There's a knock at the door. Oh, my God. Four people? I had two this whole time. 
Just fucking multiplied my shit by three. What the hell? I have long wanted to meet you. I am Anna Zersky. I am known as a guardian. Although most hunters are good, some have gone bad. I track them down. My job is to hunt evil hunters, but I can hunt anything. I dislike guns, but give me a weapon with a blade, and I am deadly. I can help you. Yes, give me a new name, and I can forget the past and concentrate on the present. Nah, Anna. I'm cool with Anna. Her name was Anna, right? Anna. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep checking. I'm gonna keep checking. Oh my god, no! How'd you do? I so glad to see you. Yep, I done heard you going out after them battens. I can help you. I ain't much for them slimy critters, but if any machines or robots get in your way, I can bust them up real good. My birth name be Josh Kane. What's the matter? Don't you think that's a good name? I do. I guess Josh. I like that these guys have very... Uh, these guys. This whole... Everyone in the game has very Americanized names, which I'm okay with. I'm so used to Japanese names being such a norm for me playing all these JRPGs. To have kind of a traditional JRPG style game have English names is very interesting. Okay, finally. So, I'm going to stick with the first four party members for now. I don't know if that's a good thing to choose, but that's what I'm going to do at first. Because, yeah, how could I not? Am I right? Let me just look at people. Okay, we have their level one. Yeah, I should have known. Do they have any items? Rudo comes with headgear, bow gun, fiber coat, and boots. He did say he likes guns, right? So here's our gun guy. And Amy uses the scalpel, carbon suit, and shoes. Okay, so we definitely want to equip these dudes up with better stuff, but I have no money. They're level one, so I want to do some grinding. We already know we can kick a lot of ass in higher level areas. Like, pretty much as far as I can get to with my party members. Uh, they can kick some ass. So I'm just going to go ahead and like teleport back to the furthest town I was at. I, already, I forgot what it was called. Quarry, I guess, was called. What was called? Let's go back there. And we'll just go outside and grind around for some money. because Or experience more so than money at this point. But we need the money, too. I want to equip people up. There's new shit at this town that's expensive. I mean, I might as well just go for the biggest and best stuff. This might be a grinding sesh. We'll see. But that's why I'm glad we have a fast forward button. I should probably, you know what, smart, Oop. you know what would be smart is if I fucking saved it. Because if I go out here and people start dying and I have issues, that's going to be a problem. Let me save it real quick. Save it real quick. And then we'll get out there and start grinding. I know, I, I don't like doing grind uh, sessions, like, as an episode, but I feel like I had to show me finding these new party members. I'm going to make a new save for once. Uh, I'm just going to call it A so I can be lazy. Yep. This is what happens when you make me name my save. I get lazy and I just put a fucking one letter. And I'm the first letter in the goddamn alphabet so I don't have to think about it. Alright, so anyway, like I said, we're just going to go out here and we're just going to walk around for a little bit. Now, I know we're looking for a junk town or something. That was like our last, like, heading. We're looking for a town that has junk around it. In it and around it. I really don't know... Shit, this is this is a, a scary proposition. I'm probably gonna lose my party members in a fight like this, but we'll see. I am also not healed right now because I'm an idiot. Funk and Nay were not healed up, but they did survive, so that's good. De them, they being Rudo and Amy. Amy was defending that whole time. I didn't like that actually. Okay, so Rudo gained a level right away. Amy gained a level right away. New techniques were learned. Sorry, I keep hearing this loud, like, howling si type noise. I think it might just be the garbage truck. Or maybe that's a dog howling. I don't know. I don't have a dog, so. Anyway, I'm going to go heal. That would be smart. I didn't realize I was hurting. Wait, where's the H here? Did I pass it? I don't remember where the heal spot's at. Where the heal spot at? There it is. Did not realize I was hurting that bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Nope, we're good. So wait, how's my party lined up too? I was not paying attention. 
I mean, I guess I could just see them in battle, but... Wait, okay, wait, wait, hold up. Did they go up more than one level? No, they both just went up one level. That's fine. The battle didn't go that bad, so let's just go ahead and... We're okay. We have four people, man. Mitigating damage for the win. I don't think I crossed this bridge, though. Should I check to see what's over here? I don't remember where I've been and where I've gone and where I need to go. That's one other, one other thing I thought about doing, which I have not done yet, and that's look to see if there's a map. A helpful map of this game. Like a world map, <clears throat> specifically. <sighs> All right. Got him. Okay, so Rudo's on the far left, Amy's on the far right. I, I think, I don't know why I didn't register that. Man, Amy not attacking. I'm okay with her defending until she gets some level ups, so I'm not mad at her right now. Especially since we're probably gonna get some healing things. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to look up. Spell names. I totally did that. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember all the answers to what all the spells do, but I can tell you that I have the list up. Like, I have it. It's still, I have the tab open in my browser right now that has the list of the spells. If I wanna refer to it, I will. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly I couldn't tell you. But all I know right now is that that Foy spell wasn't even a fire spell. It's just a damaging spell. And Gee Foy is just the stronger version of it. And they're both single target spells. Um, there are like all targeting spells. We just haven't gotten any of them yet that I know of. At least not that I've noticed. Maybe I do have one by now. I just, I'm not sure. Like Ryuka, we've learned is a teleport back to the last town you're at. We learned that on our own, but that is what it does. Penis was the one that lets us basically escape pipe out of a dungeon. Res is a heal spell. Uh, we know this is poison. We know this is sacrifice, which is basically you can sacrifice yourself to, you know, heal somebody up completely. Rudo doesn't have any techniques yet. And Amy just has heal, which makes sense since she's a healer. I'm going to kind of explore while I do this grinding, but right now it's just all about the grind. We want to get Amy and Rudo, you know, a few levels at least. Again, part of this is money, part of this is the levels, because they need them. Every level helps. Every level helps. Even if they end up dying, they'll be cheap to revive because they're low level. Holy crap, did I fight this guy before? I think I might have fight one of these before. I think I hit him with magic. But we're going to just roll and see how it goes. Should have hit him with Gifoy or something, but we got him. Holy crap, the 440 Meseta, that makes him worth it 100%. I think I, I feel like I came from this coast, didn't I? Oh, shit. I don't like the look of this at all. Uh, it's two enemies we popped for that are now combined into one, and that that worries me a little bit. I'm going to make Funk do Gifoy. I don't give a shit. Like, Sue and Zahn, I don't know what those do. We know this is heal. We don't know what Gra or Githu does. You know what? Fuck it. I have the spell list open. Let's just look at it. All right. So, so Foy, like I said, is okay. I'll just read them out as we go. Foy is a damage spell that does 12 to 18 damage. So it's like a low level damaging spell. E Foy is basically the same thing, but it does 30 to 40 damage. So it's a stronger, like twice as strong, at least, damage of the same spell. Uh, Sue, T S U. That one is, oh, it's also a single targeting damage spell, which is slightly worse. Okay, yeah, so it, it'd be go, Foy, Sue, Gifoy, that'd be the order, I guess. And then, why well, is it that order? I don't know. And then Zan is actually a, okay, Zan is, wait, to one enemy group. Okay, so group of groups of enemies, not necessarily the whole enemy, all enemies, but it's just groups. So this would be a group of enemies. We can hit them all with Xan. That might be a bad, not a bad choice. Let me look at next real quick and see what... Oop, sorry, wrong button. Just want to double check what all my spells are. We know that's heal. What's Gra? Gra is... Oh, here we go. 16, 24 damage to all enemies. Gra hits all, okay. And Githu... Okay, and Githu is our strongest spell right now. That actually damages one enemy for almost 85 to 95 damage. So we have some pretty damn good spells for fun. Holy shit, I didn't know I had that good of stuff. Well, I think for our current situation, I'm going to go with Graw, because it hits all enemies for a decent amount of damage, and I would love to do some damage on them. Um, Rudo didn't actually get a tech right now. I know she did. She has Shu and... Oh, she got two spells. She has Shu and Deban. What is Shu? Shu is... 
Oh, okay. Defensive buff. Nice. And D-Ban. D-Ban is percentage of all enemies. Oh, shoot. It lowers the hit percentage of all enemies. You know what? Do that. That could help. That could help me out. I'm going to look at everybody's spells right now. I want to see what everybody has. She just has a resin sack. That's all she has. So we know what she does. They can keep attacking then. And what does Rudo have? Does he have a tech yet? He doesn't have any techs. All right. So we're good on this right now. Ready... Fight. I haven't fought these guys, so I just wanted to do something different. Hell yeah. I'm going to let this one play out normal and just kind of see how it goes. No, Amy died. That doesn't surprise me. These guys are hard. I didn't get to lower their... Oh, my God. I didn't get to lower a shit. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Are we about to get a death right now? Uh... Yes, we are. I forgot to back out. What am I doing? Well, that's a death. I'm glad I saved it a minute ago, but I didn't get to keep any of my leveling that I just did. Son of a bitch. I'm mad now. <laughs> it's okay. I literally fought, what, like three or four enemies? I got a level up on every fight, so that's fine. Well... I can't stray too far with my weak ass homies. Those guys, those guys are rough. I might want to not head that direction then, or I don't even know which direction I was going to be honest. <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Is this after I healed, by the way? No. Well, it's fine. Let's just get out there and fucking do some fighting. I know it seemed like a little bit of a waste of time, but, you know, we got to learn the hard way. We're in a new area. I'm going to double check down here because I don't remember which direction I came from to get here. So I'm just going to look over here. I feel like going to the left of the city, there was harder enemies over there, which feels like maybe the area I, I didn't come from that direction. You know what I mean? And you know what? I'm going to be... Oh, shit. Don't go to stat. Go to tech. Be smart about it. Let's have Amy reheal herself, you know? She doesn't have a lot of HP to work with in the first place, so... Okay, so yeah, you know what? I did come from below here. This is where I came from. So, going west of the town I was just in is probably the progress situation. But right now, we're gonna just grind out for some money. And again, make sure we assess all the directions we can go. Kind of hope. See, the one thing, the only one reason I'm like excited to have Amy is better healing spells. I could really go for some better healing spells, you know. Because so I was thinking, like, okay, I just got like at least two other cool party or cool sounding party members. I don't know who's actually cool. I'm already thinking I don't like Rudo that much because he uses a gun. But maybe if I get like a shotgun or whatever, it does some more interesting like AOE type damage. Because if one of my party members could do like an AOE type damage, that'd be great. Right now, we don't have that. That's definitely one thing I was digging about uh, Dragon Quest V that I just played a little bit ago, is that there were some weapons that would attack groups of enemies and hold all enemies a lot. Like At least for the early part of the game, there was a lot of that, which was nice. By the way, I'm making a new save. Every time I come back here, I'm just going to save it. Just so if I fuck up once, I don't lose progress. Because I'm coming back here to heal more than save. <sighs> Healing's going to cost me a lot more from now on because I have four people too. So I have to keep that in mind. <sighs> Keeping that in mind. But hey, we'll also handle things better because we have four people. So I can't be mad at it. Handling things better is all I ever wanted. I'm so salty about not having more party members earlier. I could have had... So, okay, yeah, I didn't talk about this, but basically what I've heard and what I read, what triggers new party members to show up at your house is basically uh, going to a new town. So every new town you go to, a new party member should show up at your house. At least until there's no more possibilities, I guess. In fact, I didn't look and see how many I had total. I might have already filled out the damn party member list, although there, I feel like there might have been a slot for maybe one more, depending on how many you actually can get. Damn, Funk got wrecked. 
Those pinch ants hit hard. And if they keep hitting him, Jesus. Okay. Lucky part is, we can heal. I was just too lazy to keep using my heal spell a minute ago, but I'll do it right now. Alright. That's fine for now. 40 plus is fine for now. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I definitely came from this direction, so yeah, west from this town up here is where I need to go. I kind of want to get a few more level ups before I really try to push on. You know, I don't, I don't expect to push on too far for a little while. Today's session may just end up being grinding mostly, just because of I got to catch people up. And if that's the case, I'm almost tempted to be like, "Yo, I'll meet you." You know, I'll just cut here, start a new recording sesh where me already grinded up. Although I don't know which party members to use, and I feel like I should discover that for myself and not just look it up like, oh, I should use him. It seems like there will be situational use for everyone. Like, do I really need a healer right now? I don't know. Also, Funk fucking died. Jesus. I'm actually okay that he died. He needs to experience the least. Well, I shouldn't say the least. Nay needs it the least, really. She's level 20 fucking 3 or whatever. Her double leveling speed is fucking nuts. But I like even though that Funk died, we can still handle fights, you know? Like, it wasn't even that bad without him. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't bad. Although, I should look and see. Did she learn any new spells that could, like... No, she just has the anti-spell now. Rudo still doesn't have anything. That's the other thing about Rudo I'm already learning. He doesn't have any techniques. I don't know if he'll ever learn one. But it might help if he did. Our Funk's back. Let me double check pricing on, on equipment here. Because right now, I would love to see how much I need to gain to start getting some shit. Boomerang. Can anyone I'm using use this boomerang? Rudo? No. Probably one of the party members we don't have right now. That's fine. Oh, wait. I have... I have the poison shot, don't I? Hold up. Don't I have that poison shot? I also have this titanic gear. Can someone use this too? Hold up. I forgot I have some things that I can give to people. Hopefully he can use this. And then... Um, I'm going to try to give him this Titanic gear, too. It's a Titan helmet or whatever. He uses it, but nothing happens. I didn't want to use it. I wanted to give it. I wanted to give it, like, all my love that I have to give. Rudo! I'm hoping he can wear both of those. That'd be super. All right, Rudo. Let's see what you got. Okay, so he has a bow gun in both hands. I, just, I didn't see that before. He can't take the poison shot. Can he use this? Okay, so he put on the helmet. That's good. All right. Poison shot doesn't know. Okay. Maybe try to pass that over to Amy. Maybe it's like a shot, like a doctor can use a shot. Is it that kind of shot? A left hand. Okay. 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 I like that. She has an attack thing now. All right, well, we need to figure out how to give her a hat, a head, or whatever. But... She has something now. All right, so, okay. I am interested now. Also, I was not paying attention to money. Okay, so neither of them can use the boomerang. What else do I need to say before? Laser slasher, laser bar. I already bought one of these for Nay. I want one more. Acid shot is probably better than poison shot or laser shot. So, are these all for Amy? I feel like one of these has got to be a, gu a gun. This is probably a gun. Anyway, we need a lot of money. Let me see if this is for... Well, how much was the poison shot? I don't even want this that bad. Acid shot. <sighs> anyway, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Laser slasher. I mean, unless unless Funk can have the laser slasher, I'm thinking that might be for the girl who uses a sword. That, that Anna chick. One of, those, one of those chicks uses a sword, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, I want to get some better fucking weapons, man. I could go back and, like, incrementally get better weapons, but what's the point? If I could just grind out for some better weapons now, you know? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I totally didn't go heal. I meant to. Because I was here. Uh, heal, heal, heal. 
I'm gonna start letting Amy attack now too and see how that goes. And it's worth healing because I'm getting level ups, so MP and HP totals are higher, so healing all that up is helpful too. Alright, so let's get into another fight, and let's have her actually attack and see how that goes. Because this is how they started off Nay for me too. They made her in defense mode until we got weapons. So here we go. I'm gonna let this play out. Okay, so Nay's doing her thing. Fuck doing his thing. He does his little thing. Shoots his gun. Okay, so now she attacks. Good shit, good shit. She used her scalpel there. I'm not sure what her shot does yet, but that was the scalpel. Alright. Hey, the damage is gonna be low until we get a higher level than shit, so I'm not tripping. Again, we're here for experience and money. Amy up. Nice. And she learned new tech. Good shit. Is it a new heal spell? Let's see. G res. <gasps> Ooh, I bet you that heals more. Heals up to 60 HP, bitchin'. Yeah, and res, we already know, heals 20 HP, so. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's an exciting situation, y'all. You know what? This this bat was a different color than the one I fought last time, right? Yeah, he didn't give over 400 Meseta. So I fought a harder bat on the other side of the bridge. Okay, fair enough. It's okay. This 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 side this area is working for me for leveling and money. Money's pretty good. Fights aren't ridiculously hard. These pinch ants are probably the most annoying enemy. They're the most because they fucking don't want to die, and they're always in at least groups of two or more with something else sometimes, like that one. These guys. Have I fought these guys? I don't think I fought these guys. Squat. Wow. They have a lot of HP. Holy fuck. Okay. They didn't do a ton of damage, but they have a lot of HP. That was pretty rough. Okay. And on the, on the positive side, we have two people who can anti-heal. Wait, who was... Oh, sorry. I did that on the wrong person. I was looking at the thing wrong. I was thinking Nay was poisoned. Sorry. Uh, it's Rudo that's poisoned. Tech. 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 Amy, you're gonna use some G-Res, baby. Hell yeah, to feel that funky G. He's feeling so froggy. I'm just hoping Nay can learn more spells, because at this point it's like, Nay is cool because she does good damage, but her skill list is going to make me want to make sure our third party member has more skills, which means Rudo is going to be a detriment to my team without skills. Because clearly Funk is the damage man. He's got all the damages. He's got magic damage, he's got attack damage, he's damage man. Nay is turning into magic or damage girl with, you know, a slight heal spell as a backup. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a heal spell that's going to become obsolete as the game goes on. But then you got Rudo, and you got Amy. Amy's our healer. Like, she's just, that's going to be her, her bread butter's healing. So her damage output is always going to be low. It's just always going to be low. Alright, Amy, hit, hit some G-Res on that Nay. How much does that cost, by the way? It costs seven. Okay. Ooh, she has Nasak. Okay, so she just went up a level. I didn't even notice that was Nay. She learned Nasak. What is Nasak? Sack is kill yourself. What is Nasak? Nasak kills caster, heals all of their party members. Okay, so it's like ultimate sacrifice. Kill yourself for the good of the entire party, not just one. Wow, Nay is quite the uh, team player, shall we say. Definitely an interesting choice for a party member. She's an all-or-nothing type, I suppose. She's willing to sacrifice herself for the good of the whole party. Right. This is a good fight, because these trees are kind of squishy, which is nice. I'm assuming that poison shot I have on Amy, not only does it do damage, which, which I've been seeing, but it also um, hopefully can poison an enemy, which is nice. I'm hoping. So right now I have them to level 7 apiece. That's actually pretty good considering Funk's only level 12. Um, I might just go ahead and head back and uh, 
heal up and start trying to go west, maybe? I don't know. I might try to get him one more level, maybe. Let's go one more level. Once they both hit level 8, which is the next level for both of them. I'll, I'll try to head west again. It's like, I want to go west, but I want to get better equipment. That's what I really want. How much money did I have? 4,000. I don't even have enough for one of the weapons I wanted to buy. I should take armor, too, because their armor is going to be a big detriment to them surviving. Like, damage output is one thing, but surviving right now is more paramount, if only because they're going to die so easily all the time. And that's annoying. They didn't get that level 8 yet, though, so hold on. I'm only worried about fighting on the other side because that one encounter with that, those crabs with the fucking squids on their head. The two, the two enemies who united. Who decided to wreck my shit. I've never seen those guys, and they wrecked my shit so easily. I tried to get him with a all magic spell. That probably wasn't my best bet to kill them, though. Maybe if I would have just made Funk do his high level damage spell, he would have took some of them out easier. Next time I will try that, maybe. I just want to get their level 8 before I have to go back and heal, damn it. They gotta be close. Right, that's the last G res I can afford, so. Let's get that level up. Let's get that level up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get that level up. that level up. Come on, baby. No, still not there. Damn. Okay, come on. Come on. Chip, chip. Level up. Yeah, I think Rudo is probably going to be good. He just needs guns. He needs guns to make himself worth it. He's definitely got a lot of HP to mitigate damage. He just needs the guns to make him stronger so he's more worth it. Because he's probably a very tanky character. Fucking Rudolph over here. Okay, so Rudo got his level 8. Amy can't be far behind. Their leveling is slightly skewed now. And I think that's just because they don't require the same amount of experience points for level ups. But it can't be that far apart, right? We'll see. Come on. Get that level up, Amy. Do it. There it is. All right. All right. They're both level eight now. It's okay. More fights is fine. I need the more money and the more experience. Just keep fighting whatever you run into. It's all worth it. If running... Oh, my God. Funk just got wrecked by that pinch hat, you piece of shit. If, if running wasn't so fucking complicated, like, if I didn't get cock blocked by running more than I've actually ran away in this game, which so far, if you've been keeping tabs... I've been blocked from running more times than I've actually ran away so far, which is fucking incredible and also makes you wonder, why do they even have a run button? Is there a spell that makes you automatically be able to run away first try every time? Because if not, fuck trying to run away ever again, you know what I mean? Let me double check the uh, the armor situation here because the, the weapons I want are going to make me spend all my money. And so, look at this. And so is this shit. Look at how good all this stuff is. I haven't gotten to buy any of this yet. All of this is better than what I'm wearing on every character. I want all of it. That's why I need to grind for money. For fucking armor. But I would love to do the weapons better. Because damage output is going to save us a lot more time. Um, yeah. So... I'm kind of tempted to buy this laser shot and hope that uh, Mr. Rudo can use it just to give him a better damage output. Because he, him having better damage output is more, most helpful right now for any, than anything else. All right, cool. He can use that. That's good. That's all we can afford. So thank you and good night. Right. Rudo, I'm gonna have you equip that shit immediately. Oh, it goes in both of his hands. Okay. I was thinking he had two guns. I don't know why. So the, the, these kind of guns actually take up both hands automatically. Oh, that's fine. And actually, 
relieves my brain to know that I don't have to buy two laser shots. <laughs> okay, we can sell the headgear and uh, bow gun he has. That's fine. Um, in fact, we'll just do it now while it's on my brain to do that. Then we'll heal up and save. And we'll get back out there and start exploring to the west. Sorry, I'm trying to remember where the fucking item shop was. It was just down here, right? Yeah. Sell all your shit, sell your shit. Sell the boat gun and sell the headgear, cause you don't need that shit, my dear. Did Funk have anything to sell? I forget. He has all the healing stuff on him. He has that star mist. Now he's good. Did Nay have anything? She has the old Serum Bar. I don't know if anyone else can use that. I'm just gonna sell it. I want to get her another laser bar is what I want. That's 31 hundo, though. And again, that's not too bad, actually. All things considered, that's not too bad. I already got, what, 12 hundo now? Oh, wait, wait, I wanted to heal and save. Sorry. I don't want to leave yet. Because I want to explore to the west. I want to head to the west and look around until we, uh... Um, well, either until we find something, or until we're about to die, and I'll just teleport back here and heal up. Yeah, see, Rudo, Fly45, and Amy741. We're already in a range of levels to where we gotta do a lot of grinding to get people leveled up, so... I'm at a point where I'm like, let's just go ahead and explore again. That grinding didn't take too long. Like, how long have I been playing for? Like a half hour. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. All things considered, not too bad. Is it okay to erase? Yes. A. Replaced with A. 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 B. Alright, so I will say, I would do reserve the right to switch party members, grind for other shit, in between episodes now that I know party members is a thing. If I get to a new town, I will make sure I go back to see if there's another new party member to pick up. But yeah, the other party members that are back at my house, I may check them out, see if they're any good, see what kind of abilities they have, see if it's worth switching to one of them instead, and grind them up if as needed. That will be something I reserve the right to do from now on, now that I know about it, and I have so many party members to choose from, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to check them out. So yeah, that is a thing on my in my head already. I'm going to go ahead and fight this guy normal. I want to see how much... Well, right now... This fucking guy, he just, he's just strong. I didn't catch how much damage that Rudo just did, but I'm pretty sure it was double digits, which is good. He has the highest gun that I can possibly buy right now. Also, this is nowhere to go. What? Dead end? Or wait, hold up. Dead end to the west? No. -uh. Did I miss the junk town somewhere? These enemies in this area are rough, dude. What the heck? I have hella money, though. This is a good money grinding area. This is a dead end area. This area is literally just this town. What the hell? I was not expecting that. Okay, well, shit. Here I thought it was like, I gotta go west here. If I do have to go west here, it might be like once I have some way to cross the water, which I don't have right now. Maybe that's why this town is so fucking high level of things. Like, equipment here is so expensive because. I don't even need to really be here yet. I, maybe I got ahead of myself coming here. Which, again, I'm not mad at. I'd say it was worth coming here, because now I know top-of-the-line equipment, and I'd love to have all the best shit right now. There's no reason not to go for the best shit you can get in a game like this when you got to grind out for certain equipment anyways. Might as well always just get the best shit. Don't waste your time incremental upgrading unless you need it. Which, right now, I'd rather just get the best shit. Like I said, I'll just keep saying it, because it's true. And I'm only going to walk back naturally because I have no idea what side paths I'm going to miss. Like, where's this junk town? I must have missed it along the way here somewhere. It's got to be around here somewhere. Hold up. I'm going to go back up there. Because last time I was totally just exploring, just to explore, to see what I could find. Hoping to find that junk town that they kept talking about. And then I walked all the way around and I found the city over here. And I was like, oh, cool. A city, to f a city that I wasn't expecting to find. So this is all dead end over here, right? Like, there's no nowhere else to go. I was just making sure there wasn't something inland here on the right before I crossed that bridge back the way I came. Again, I'm just gonna... Like, is there anything up here? 
Did I go up here? I don't even remember if I did. Who cares? Defense increasing. Whatever. Fuck them up. Hell yeah. Easy enemies. Let's go. Okay, that's just dead end. Okay. I was just double checking where all my dead ends were. I'm not being dumb. This is why you need a world map, Funky. I should have looked one up. I really, really should have. I'm still not going to yet, but I will keep it as a strong consideration for something I will do during this playthrough. And I've already had the blessing of at least a couple people in the, the comments of this game so far that are like, yo, just go ahead and use a guy. Don't worry about it. This game is pretty cryptic and bullshit, so... I'm not going to feel scared to do it like I... I wasn't scared to already, but now I've had a little bit of a blessing from at least a couple people. I don't. I won't feel bad about it at all. Like I said, I already busted the guide out technically, but I didn't look ahead at what's to come. I was just looking at what I already did to see if I missed anything. And like I said, I, then I learned about, oh shit, party members. What? What? All I thought, all I thought when I saw a, par a different party member name was what? There's more parties? More party members? What? And then after somebody so nicely mentioned that if I go back to my house, I can get party members, it just dawned on me that somebody did say that. An NPC did say that. I haven't been over here. This has got to be the junk town right here. Shit, this fight's going to kill somebody if I don't hurry. These pinch hands hit way too hard. Whew. Okay, we're good. Bitch. Amy and, uh, Root. I gotta remember what to call them. Amy and Rudolph. Rudo. We'll both went up a level on that. This little trek here, so this is good. She has Sar. What is Sar? Sar is heals all party members by 20. So we have an all heal spell. Nice. It's not great for this point because we're already hella over leveled for it, but you know what? It's nice to have regardless. I ain't mad at it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm already gonna say this now. Even though I bought Rudo this bitch and gun, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm probably already gonna consider replacing him with one of the other party possible party members because of his lack of skills. Text. That's okay. We have him equipped to help out right now. Um, this is a dungeon, which I honestly I thought this was gonna be the junk town. It might be the junk town, but if the junk town's a dungeon, that's not what I was expecting. I'm not gonna do that yet. Now that I found it, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look around a little more first. If that's where I need to go, that's cool. But I don't know that for a fact yet. <clears throat> I did not come out here prepared for a dungeon. I did not. I do have some items in on Funk's inventory, but he's the only one. So I did not come prepared for a dungeon yet. So wait, did I come across this bridge? Is this the same bridge I just crossed a minute ago? I think it is. It's hard to say when the map doesn't center. I believe it is. Or is it? Wait, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, same bridge I just came back across. Got it. It's hard to say sometimes. Man. Okay. Can we just get a world map? Or can we zoom out a little bit? It's like the game sometimes feels like it's too zoomed in with how close up all the characters we get with how much map. Especially since the fact that it doesn't center on your character. You're like, it's so weird. <clears throat> and only centers after a fight. Sorry, now we're in an area where I'm wrecking enemies or no problem, so I'm not tripping right now. So here's one of the dams. <clears throat> Easy peasy enemies at this point, I'm liking it. Okay, so this is just us heading back, I guess. Is just this that one pass-through area that we opened up with the key that one time? Funk and May both went up a level. Hell yeah. Good shit. Again, I'm looking at all nooks and crannies. I don't care what anywhere 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 it goes right now. I just want to know where everything is. And I can always teleport back to that high-level town at any time. That's the beauty about this game. Is I don't ever have to walk back over there again if I don't want to. I do have to walk back to that new dungeon I just found, but that's not a problem right now. This area is not a problem. What was over here? Oh. One of these I have not passed through. What? Which one did I pass through? Hold up. Did I go? Now I'm not sure. Which way did I come from? Where did I go? 
Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Let's see where this goes. Did I go through here? Oh, this just leads to this one town. I did go through here. Well, okay. Okay, I know where we are. Let me double check the equipment stuff here, because I don't remember what they sold here. Hell yeah, dude. Getting all healed up and swole and shit. Oops. Forgot this was a more horizontal left to right town. I'm actually going to save it too. Fuck you, fast forward. I love you, but I hate you. I love you, but fuck you. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You can't walk past the fucking sign. That's pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> All right. Yes, I would like to save again, because everybody went up a level as I was walking around. Literally everyone, and I don't want to lose that shit. Save early, save often, y'all. You know this. The JRPG crew. Crew? Uh, JRPG. Uh, what's the word I was looking for? Creed. Creed. That's the word. You know, with arms wide open. Those guys. Okay, he's got the helmet here. And this. Yeah, it's like, I'm tempted to look at all this stuff. But it's like, the next town had better boots. It had, like, Titan boots or whatever. I'm not buying nothing from here equipment-wise anymore. Poison shot was 1700 so the silent shot is cheaper. Cannon was probably for Rudo, too, but we have the laser gun now. We don't need that shit. Laser knife. That's the one that Funk is already using, I believe. Slasher might be better than the uh, scalpel, maybe? Whip. Let me see if, if Amy uses any of this stuff. Amy? I just want to see if... What weapon does Funk have right now also? He has laser knife. Okay, I was just double checking. He has the knife. Laser knife specifically. Okay. So he has this. Got it. I wanted to see if Amy could use any of this. But these are probably for characters we don't have. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's fine. I was just checking. Just checking. Alright. In that case, I'm good. I saved it. I came here just to look for a second. Now I know where I am. It's fine. All right, so I got my bearings on the world map, which means we probably do just have to go to that dungeon. That's probably the junk town that I was looking for. Here I was thinking it was going to be an actual town, but it's a freaking dungeon. I mean, we have four party members now. I'm kind of tempted to just go for it. I feel like we don't really need to load up on items as much as I thought since we have a whole party now. So I think I'm going to just go for it. Also, what the fuck? I haven't fought these slug mask guys. That's a different palette swap. Holy shit. Shit, they're, they're, those are some beefy slugs. And they multiply. Oh, that's cool. Either that or they got revived, but... Oh, they fucking multiply. Oh, wait, they, okay. Jesus. The multiplication. I hate enemies that do kind of, kind of shit. 300... What kind of fucking ridiculousness was that? That was so much money. Holy crap, I might actually walk back to the dungeon or to the town over here and buy some more shit. I was just gonna fucking go to the dungeon, but now that I got enough for a, any piece of equipment at this town over here that I want, I'm gonna go buy one of them. Or maybe more than one, depending on how much I want to spend. I'm trying to decide what I want to buy, buy first. Should I buy another claw for Nay? The other laser bar? So she has two. I could also buy another laser knife for Funk, so he has two. That's also a possibility. Both of those would be a good idea. I should double check that none of the weapons here at Funk can use. Like if they have a better one than the laser knife and I didn't notice or something. Because giving Nay and Funk their best weapons is a priority, I would say. So I might just go ahead and buy that other bar for Nay immediately. Let's double check. Laser Slasher. Wait, I have Laser Knife. Is Laser Slasher for Funk? No. Okay. Nobody, nobody here is going to use that then. That's fine. Well, actually, no, we already know there's a Slasher at the other place. So this is the Laser Slasher. Okay, that makes sense, actually. So there's not a weapon for Funk here. 
as far as I'm concerned. Unless he can use like the acid shot as a, as a secondary, which we did learn he can use a gun in the other hand. That could be fun. Like laser gun in one hand, acid shot in the other. I'm gonna get this laser bar first. So, Nay has two. Acid shot for funk? No. Can Amy use this? Oh, uh, okay. So Amy has acid shot and poison shot. Can we have her have one in each hand? Because that'd be great, actually. Yeah, she'll have one in each hand. Hell yeah. I'm okay with this. Fuck your scalpel. Now you have guns in either hand. I like that. All right. Now you're going to get the second laser bar in your other hand. Boom. And now we're looking nice. So Funk's the only one still using the serum. So he he's the only one not using his best possible combo of weapons because I have to buy a laser knife from the other place, which was like 4,400 or something, which we definitely don't have. I'm gonna go sell the equipment I just got, like replaced real quick. Extra bar, scalpel, get rid of that shit. We don't need the serum bar. Sell. Scalpel. I'm going to heal and save one more time. Because we did fight on the way here. Uh, now we bought some more shit, expensive shit. And we fought a pretty hard fight on the way here. That fucking fight where I got like over a thousand mesetas was crazy. Shit was crazy, dog. Shit was crazy. Crazy. C -c crazy. Alright, so now we're literally just saving up for equipment, for armor and shit, because even though I could be a better weapon for Funk, I'm, I feel less in, like that's less necessary right now. I feel like everybody else having... Now, now working on people's armor is a good idea, you know? So, that's what we'll save our money for. Zeama. Again, this, dun this, dun this town has armor and weapons that I probably shouldn't even have yet. I shouldn't say shouldn't have because it's not like it was hard to walk over here but like i feel like i've skipped over the dungeon i need to be doing and i got and i went over here i feel like the game like this wasn't a necessary trip to make before you go to this dungeon it's like a because you kind of got to have to go past it the enemies over here were pretty tough it also might be a good limit test for this dungeon that we're about to do the fact that we could handle this whole area over here pretty well means we can probably wreck this dungeon pretty good so we'll see how it goes And part of me already has a pension in my head, like, I kind of want to just make a save state there already. But you know what? I won't. I won't do it right away. I'll do it the... I'll do it the way the devs wanted me to do it, other than fast-forwarding, obviously. Still not going to not use that. But I will use quick save if I start dying a bunch, you know? Anyway, Rudo leveled up again. Nice. I think it puts him at level 10, if i am been counting right. These fucking pinch ants, man. Wrecking their shit for sure. 